All right, let me talk to you. Yeah! I'm gonna keep this short and sweet. I have no idea what the hell AEW is thinking. I'm gonna start off hot because I gotta go talk about X-Men over on Incredibly, so cheap plug to get that over out of the way. I saw the footage <laughs> that they put out trying to essentially make themselves look like victims. And to be quite honest, I'm actually really glad that I listened to the entire MMA hour that Ariel Helwani put out with CM Punk. CM Punk talked about a lot of things in great detail and he did it in such a respectable way that it actually helped me change how I looked at him in the grander scheme of things. Because when you take kayfabe and you implement that into these situations it really helps paint a better and bigger picture a lot of times i'm not gonna lie i was one of those fans that when he came back to wwe after cutting all those promos and mentioning all those things that he did on aw kind of tarnishing wwe i didn't really think because guess what I was getting worked. He is a human being doing a job, which he is very good at, which is selling and making you care and having some sort of emotional connection to what he's trying to portray. And in this situation, his character being this like voice of the voiceless and you already know the whole nine. The point is, is he was trying to help out that company and then pretty much getting flamed and blown up for it because he had warned them several times. You guys are not going to like how I'm going to handle this if you guys really allow me to handle it. There's so many internal issues with AEW that I don't really have the time at this recording to go over them. But I also want to emphasize that I'm not even like a tribalistic WWE fan. At my core, I love professional wrestling. I love wrestling in general. I love WWE. I love New Japan. I just love good quality wrestling. What I don't love is when a company is consistently coming at another bigger company for the sake of like a cheap pop or it's almost as if like they're doing it in vain in hopes that they are going to get some sort of better reaction and a response that you really think WWE as big as they are they're too busy breaking records and doing all this great stuff for themselves and the business <laughs> that like you think they have time to respond to any little jab or shot that they have. I literally just saw a clip on Twitter on Will Offspray responding to something that Triple H said that honestly, I don't even think was directly related or meant to be at will. He like was hella disrespectful. I'm like, dude, way to burn a bridge. Like imagine like after his run, his contract goes up with AEW or whatever. It's like, yeah, I know right now they say like, we're the best, the best wrestlers or whatever the, the freaking phrase is. You never want to be that dumb and to do something like that. So let me backtrack yet again, because I'm now I'm going all over the place. The point of this video is I love wrestling. But I don't love when a company like AEW, specifically AEW, decides to do the things that they do to try to get people to watch their product. Right now, they look very desperate and pathetic. And as a fan of wrestling and as a fan of AEW, it is sad. Point blank. It is so sad. And I just wish they would do like every other company and just put on a good fucking show is that so hard do you see tna doing this shit do you see new japan doing this shit no if you want to be a big top level company or you want to you know pretend like you're on the same level as the biggest one that there is in the entire world then maybe you should start acting like it and i say this with all the respect and like all the care in the world but i'm just a little bit frustrated because it's sad when you see something that you like and enjoy just get tarnished by their own hands. CM Punk is a great person. I can tell. He keeps it real. You know, my whole thing here and all the content that I make is I keep my shit very real. I am the leader of the real ones and whatever. Gimmicks aside, I take pride in that. Real recognizes real. And I see that he's like giving his truth and saying his side. He's not like trying to bash the company, but he's literally just calling how it is. Tony Khan not being the actual boss that that company needs. He's just a nice dude. Listen, it's great to be a nice guy, but yo, you have to get your fucking company in control. Like seriously, I fucking ranting. 
I'm fucking ranting. Either way, guys, I really just need to get this off my chest because recently I've been making wrestling videos and I'm going to continue making wrestling videos in addition to all the other content that I do on this channel because, again, it is a, pas a passion of mine. It makes for some good conversation, but I would hope that there are some people out there that do agree with my stance right now because, listen, whether you're a WWE purist or an AEW purist, you have to recognize that there needs to seriously be some big change on a constructive and internal level when it comes to AEW. It just has to happen. I would like to tune in to a Dynamite or a Rampage or a Collision or any of their pay-per-views and not have to keep a tally of how many jabs at WWE are they going to take today? Or this or that or whatever. And after the footage that they showed, it literally did not prove anything. They quite literally used that footage and then tried to spin it to what? Promote their tag match between the Bucks and FTR? Because FTR are friends with he who shall not be named, but yet they show him clearly in this footage? Nah, bro, that's not it. That's literally not it. Like I said, as a fan of wrestling, that shit is dumb. It needs to stop. They're not dumb to stoop down to their levels, and that's why they're always going to remain on top, and AEW is just going to keep trying to scratch and claw their way up and it's exactly how how punk said it they're just in the wrong business like they're not trying to sell tickets and make money they're just trying to just put on good matches but then who is really gonna care when half the time they're constantly in all this weird drama and just trying to start up stuff that's behind them and they're just utilizing people that aren't even in the company to help boost their shit up and that's not even working i'm done that's all i really gotta say let me know you guys thoughts long live wrestling and i'm hoping for better days at least for AEW, because they need it seriously and i'm not even trying to sound like i'm a dickhead about it i just want them to go back to the good stuff and that's it